Hey everyone, today we're going to be learning how to use the Sony HXR NX100. This is a fantastic camera, look how beautiful this thing is. Amazing, so many buttons, so many things that you can press that do different things within the camera. Are you guys ready? Because I am freaking just... Today we're going to be learning the basic functions of the NX100. It's a Sony camcorder that has some amazing features. Alright, so let's get into it. We're going to turn it on. The power switch is on the left side, something that's a little bit different from most cameras. Make sure you always have a tripod that can carry the weight of the camera. Luckily we have a lightweight camera here that can be on most tripods. In some cases, when you put it on a tripod that can't hold the camera, you'll have the legs just dropping down. So. Make sure it's a durable one. Put this base plate on. I always keep my keys to tighten it. When you're tightening things down on the camera, make sure that you don't over tighten things. This can cause some stripping. So I'll tighten it just enough. Slide it onto the tripod. This knob right here, boom, tighten it. Okay, and here we have the camera set up nicely. And when you're holding a camera, make sure you always hold it by the handle, the lens hood. If the sun was pointed directly at the lens, this hood is gonna block a little bit of that out for you um, so that you don't get lens flare. You can take this hood off. All you gotta do is twist it. All right, we got the lens cap on here still. Just notice that, boom, comes off. And it goes on just like that. One thing about the Sony NX100 is it has three rings instead of two. Normally cameras would have a focus knob and a zoom knob, but this one also includes the iris. So that when your camera is in manual mode, you can manipulate any of the three. We got the ND filters over here, which is gonna take out some of the light that's coming in the camera. Another impressive feature with this camera is that it has two SD slots. Now, this is cool because, you know, you can plug in a 64 gigabyte and a 32 gigabyte and just write to the 32 gigabyte and then at the point where your memory card is completely full, it's gonna start writing over to that 64 gigabyte and give you so much extra space. Back here we got the battery release button. You just press here, the battery just comes right out. If you're gonna put it in, you would slide it in and push down and you'll hear it lock into place. The AV, the audio video out, video out, HDMI. You plug in your headphones here to listen back to the audio while you're recording. Got this dope viewfinder. So the white balance on this camera is a little bit different than the Panasonic's that we have in the studio. All you have to do is press it down Whenever you're in the custom setting, a white sheet of paper, zoom in, fill up the frame with it, uh, and then hit that white balance button. This camera offers a feature where you can go back and look at the last scene that you shot. I feel like that's convenient. You don't have to go searching through the menu. It just take forever. Up to 12 times zoom. This camera has a really shallow depth of field which is great for cinematographers. Um, this camera can actually be used to shoot films because it offers a more stylized look. This one on this side is gonna be, you know, pressure gauge. So if you wanna zoom in really slow, you just barely press the knob and then faster you would press it all the way down. The one on top, however, only has one speed that it moves, which is pretty slow. This full auto setting so that's gonna set your camera to either manual or auto. When it's in auto, it's gonna be trying to manipulate the focus, the amount of light coming in. You don't want it to be changing around while you're in the middle of a take. The two different recording buttons, we have one on the top here next to the zoom knob, and then we got the one on the back side, on the right side. That's gonna allow you to adjust the gain up and down, allowing more light into the camera or decreasing the amount of light that comes into the camera. Shutter speed's another good one. You wanna make sure that the shutter speed is always double the frame rate. 
that's it for today. That was our lesson on the basic functions of the Sony HXR NX100. This is a great camera. Uh, and now that I have a better understanding of it, I'm going to go out and shoot some stuff. Thanks for watching. See you later.